People are always asking me what it's like to live your life with such a big lizard. And I'll tell you after three weeks of owning Ace, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Now for those of you who don't know, Ace was abused and neglected by his previous owner. So, so far he hasn't had the greatest experience with humans. But it's my job as his keeper to show him that all humans aren't that bad. And that we are capable of showing love and respect to our animals. These animals are more than mindless, ferocious, aggressive reptiles that don't have emotion. They're smart. They think about things. They have emotion. They care about things. They know how to figure problems out. They're amazing creatures that need to be shown respect. Now, I'm not going to sit here and preach that they're amazing pets because they aren't. They're not for everybody. This guy has sent me to the hospital two times in the three weeks that I've owned him. But outside of that, we've made a lot of progress. He'll now let me stroke him on the chin. It has been a widely accepted fact among the scientific community now for years that reptiles, amphibians, birds, some insects, some species of fish all have the capacity for a level of emotion to some degree. Now I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Ace is going to love me like a dog would love me or it's going to show affection like a dog would show affection because that's not true. They're evolved in different ways. Mono the lizards are solitary animals that don't need a pack so it doesn't make sense for them to love their family like a dog would. But that doesn't mean that they're a mindless animal. They know who looks after them, they know who feeds them, they can remember who does them a kindness and they can remember who hurts them. They're very smart animals and if you just sit here and think that if they had thoughts and were conscious they would be a part of our society, that's bullcrap. Because that comment alone is saying that dogs and cats wouldn't be a part of our society, well, or wouldn't be a part of our society. Which is not true because <laughs> You see dogs and cats every single day being a part of our society because they have thoughts and emotions. So your comment just doesn't make sense. All animals have the capacity for thought and emotion. It's ridiculous to think that we're the only species that have emotion and show love. This is the part of keeping one of the lizards that people don't show. Oh, well, they just want to lay down and relax in the sun and just be lizards. Let's end the idea that these guys are horrible monsters. It hurt you, because it's not true. He's so cute. Okie dokie, so after 83 days of not getting bitten by this giant lizard, I thought maybe I'd try and break my streak. But before we can get onto the fun stuff, I thought I'd better give Charlie a little scratch. Look at how much more tolerable she is than Ace. Now that's just simply because she's been brought up around people and is a lot more used to humans than aces. Now a part of owning any large monitor lizard species is maintenance. These are massive lizards and they make a lot of mess. Now to just make it a little bit easier, I like to take Ace out of his main aviary and put him into a smaller one. It just makes it a little bit safer for me and a little bit less stressful for him, especially when I'm trying to clean up all of his mess. Now I'm sure there's going to be people commenting on this about my terrible handling skills. And while yes, that might be true, for this particular lizard, this is the best way to do it. When Ace is all fired up and hot like this, he has a lot of energy. And unfortunately today he wasn't in a very good mood. So I wouldn't want to risk getting my hands in the way and having to do another hospital trip. I definitely need to invest in a pair of welding gloves so I can get my hands in there without the fear of his razor sharp teeth ripping into me. Ace knows the difference between the snake hook and my hand. He knows that if he bites the snake hook, he's not going to get very far. So that's why when I switch over to using my hand, he tries to turn around and bite me a few times. I didn't get the rest of that video on film, but just trust me, I got him there without getting bit. I just thought I'd add this clip in there because look, he looks so in love with Charlie. He just looks like he's smiling. What a cute little couple.